Today, I'm gonna teach you how to play Clove on every map in Valorant. I'll show you the best smoke spots on attack and defense. I'm also gonna show you metal lineups and even more. If you wanna see a certain map, there's timestamps below and enjoy the video. If you wanna hit B side of Ascent, you can throw one smoke in Market and your second one over here at CT. And if you know or you think an enemy's playing at lane, you can easily come under this window and toss your metal like this, which will hit anyone playing here. And if you wanted to, you could even pair the metal with a wall bang or some type of utility that does damage. And for hitting A site, you can throw one smoke in tree and your second one over at heaven. Just make sure your heaven smoke doesn't go out too far because if it does go out far like this or something, your enemies are gonna have an easier retake. And when you're about to hit site, you can just run through your metal off of this box to hit anyone at dice. And you can do a similar thing at gen by just throwing it off of this wall here. If you planted a dice for post plant, you can toss your metal off of this box and hit anyone who's defusing. If you planted a gen, you can come over here Look right under this line, and then run through your metal, and that's gonna hit anyone who's defusing a gen. For ascent defense, there's two main spots that you're gonna wanna play as clove. The first spot is in tree, and this lets you smoke all the way to B main, A main, or even mid. And the second spot is over at top mid. This lets you easily smoke A main, B main, or mid. A good play that you can do is over on lane. We can throw our metal like this, and pair it with some type of weapon that will wall bang this, or an ability to get some free kills. For attacking A side of bind, you can throw one smoke in heaven, and your second one between triple and truck just like this. A good attacking metal that you can do is over here at U-Haul. You can just throw it like this and that'll cause anyone playing on this corner to have to back off for a second. For B side, you can throw one smoke in this CT doorway and your second one over an elbow. My favorite attacking metal here is just throwing it like this so it hits anyone in backside. For A site post plant, you can come into this corner and then when they tap the bomb, you can toss your metal off this box and that'll hit anyone defusing a default. The second one is a bit more risky and I generally wouldn't use it unless it's like a 1v1 or a scenario where you have a teammate who can peek off of this, but you can just come back here in short Toss your metal like this, then run up and kill anyone who's defusing. You can pair either of your metals with this smoke, which will make anyone who's defusing basically blind. For triple, there's nothing too creative that you can do with your metals. The best thing to do is just something like this. And just like at default, you can put a smoke on top of triple to mess anyone's vision up who's defusing. For B site post plant, you can come into hookah and throw your metal right about here, and that's gonna hit any of the default plant spots. And you can do the same type of thing from long, but it's not as protected. Moving on to defense, there's sadly nowhere on this map that lets you smoke anywhere, but the places that give you the most flexibility are one, playing in this cubby here. This lets you smoke all of B and also A short. And you can also play in this doorway, which once again lets you smoke all of B, and if you walk to the left a bit, A short. For A site, the best place to play is Clove is in U-Haul, and this lets you smoke all of A, as well as Hookah Window. Moving on to Sunset, for the B attack smokes, you can put one smoke in Market, and your second one on stairs. The only thing that you have to watch out for is this area, which if you wanted to, you could replace one of these two smokes with a smoke here, but generally the stairs and market smoke are the strongest. For attacking metals, the two best ones that I found for the site are one, throwing it on stairs like this to get anyone playing in this corner, or two, throwing it over here to delay anyone trying to peek from this area. For A site, you can put one smoke on A link, and your second one over an alley. Next, we're gonna look at post plant, and if the bomb's planted here, you can easily come into main, toss your metal off of this wall, and hit anyone who's defusing. Just make sure that your metal doesn't hit this part of the wall, because if it does, it'll get stuck and it won't bounce. You can also stand behind this thing and jump through your metal. And you can do the same thing if the bomb's planted here. If you're playing over here, you can just peek out real quick, toss the metal on the ground, and hit any diffusers. If bombs planted a gen, the best thing that I found to do was run through your metal off the top of this wall, just like this, and once that pops, you can swing out and try to get some kills. For defense, the best spot that I found to play is top mid. This lets you smoke off A main, this part of A, mid, and also B main. You can also smoke elbow from here, but you can only smoke far out, like this. And if you want to smoke deeper into elbow, you have to cross to the other side of top mid. Market is also a good spot to play, it lets you smoke off B main, mid, and this part of A. Next map that we have is Lotus, and for this one when I'm attacking A, normally pretty early into the round, I'll throw one smoke in stairs like this, and then when my team starts actually getting onto sight, I'll toss my second smoke in heaven. For B site, I like to throw one smoke in heaven, and my second one over like this. And if I'm re-smoking this post plant or after we have site control, I'll smoke it a little bit deeper so it goes like this. And finally, for C site, I throw one smoke waterfall and my second one over in hull. And the site has a pretty good metal. While you're running up, you can just toss your metal off of this wall and hit anyone who's at bend. For A site post plant, if you're playing in tree and the bomb is planted on this side or this side of the box, you can look right under this lip, so right about here, and then run through your metal like this, and that'll hit anyone diffusing on either side. For B site, if the bomb is planted at default and you're playing in main, you can easily just throw your metal off of this wall and hit any diffusers. The second B site metal is pretty situational, but situations do happen like this sometimes, so it can be useful to know. So for this one, if the spike is planted here, 
You can come into this room and throw your metal really anywhere in this hole. It'll bounce down and hit any diffusers. For Seasight, if the spike is planted here and you're playing in main, you can just stand right behind mound, toss your metal, and hit anyone who's diffusing. For Seasight, if bomb's planted here, you can just stand behind mound, and then when you hear him tap, you can toss this, let that pop, and then swing out and get a free kill. Just make sure your metal lands up top and not on the ground because they don't go through walls. For defense, the best spot to play is either in B Heaven or C Link. Either of these spots will let you smoke anywhere on the map. If you're attacking beyond split, you can throw one smoke in Heaven, and your second one in alley like this. This side also has a really good attacking metal. So what you can do is you can toss your metal like right about here. So you can toss that and then you can spray them through this box. And most of the time, if someone's playing there, you'll get a free kill. You can just wall bang anyone who it hits. And since they're low HP, you'll most of the time get the kill. For attacking A, you can throw one smoke in screens and your second one up in heaven. If you wanted to, you could replace one of these smokes with a ramp smoke, but these two are generally the strongest. If you have a teammate with mollies, you can throw your metal in here and have them pair that with one of their mollies to get an easy kill on anyone in hell. Next, we have defense and the best spots to play are either in mail or over in vents. Either one of these spots will let you smoke any part of the map. The next map that we have is Icebox, and for attacking A, the best smokes to do are one, putting a smoke just on the edge of tower like this, and putting your second smoke right over here across screens. This tower smoke is really strong because it gives you a one way on anyone peeking out backside, and it lets you see people first who are peeking off rafters. And the screen smoke is the best one that you can do for screens, but just remember, it doesn't cover all the way, so enemies can walk past it. For attacking metals, the best one that I found is to get up on pipes and run through it at the edge of this wall, and this will hit anyone playing in maze. You can also throw it like this to hit anyone at 410. For B site, the best smokes are to have one in snowman and your second one in tower. And for your metal, the best one that I found is to bounce it off of this wall to hit anyone at yellow. And this is a really good metal to pair with a raise nade or some type of util that does damage. For the default post plant metal, there's three different things that you can do. The first one is in tower, and for this one, you can just bounce it off a of fridge, and this will hit any diffusers. If you're playing at belt, you can just throw your metal off of this thing here, and this will hit any diffusers. And finally, if you're playing at pipes or under pipes, you can again just throw it off fridge, and this will hit anyone diffusing. For the B site post plant, you can either go here or here. Either way, you can just throw it in the same spot. Throw it off the bottom part of these two boxes just like this, and that's gonna hit anyone who's defusing the bomb. The best spots to play on defense are orange or in kitchen. Either of these two spots will let you smoke anywhere that you need to. Boiler is also a good spot to play. The only problem is that you can't smoke the right side of B yellow. The final map that we have for this video is Breeze, and honestly, there's a reason that I saved this for last. Breeze is just not Clove's greatest map. Wall smokes are always gonna be the best for this map because there's so many angles to block off. But regardless, for anyone who does want to play on this map, I'm gonna show you the best way to play her. Now for attacking A, the best smokes that you can do are having one here and your second one in the middle of the titties. And while you're coming out, you can throw a metal here. This will clear this corner and it gets a bit of backside. For attacking B, the best smokes that you can do are putting one here one here, and then while you're coming out, just tossing the metal onto backside to clear that for a second. For A site post plant, there's nothing super crazy here. The best thing that I found is to throw it off of this metal thing here, so just like this, and then once that pops, you can swing out and kill them once they're low. For B site, this is the same type of thing that I showed you at A. Once your enemies tap, you can throw it off of these bricks, this will get them low, and then you can swing out once they're hit. For Breeze defense, it doesn't really matter where you play, because no matter where you are, you're only going to be able to smoke one side at a time. So just play wherever you feel comfortable, and I'd say that's the best thing to do. That's my Clove guide. If you want to see more of my Valorant guides, you can click here. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.